Do you know, if we look at Surah Al-Furqan, which, which actually means the criterion, referring to the Quran and to revelation itself, if we look at that Surah, one thing that stands out quite clearly is the issue of company, good company and bad company. What type of friends you should be having, what type of people you should allow into your circle. So what we must understand is interactions sometimes are not controlled by us because you may be on a bus, you may be on public transport, you may be on an aircraft, you may be in a public place. You will have to interact with good people and bad people, with male and female. You will have to interact with all sorts of people, people you perhaps never imagined you would interact with at your workplace or wherever else it may be. But it, it depends what level of interaction it is. It is you who will allow them or disallow them from entering into a circle that is slightly smaller or closer than the initial one of just acquaintance and dealing with them for the purpose of whatever it was. So for example, if I'm at work or I have a business, someone walks in, they'd like to purchase something or I, I'm walking in the street, I see people, yes, I will have to interact with them either with an expression on my face or with a good statement of a greeting, whatever else it may be, or I may have to help them if there is desperation or there is a need. But will I invite them home? The answer is not necessarily. You don't just invite strangers. You don't just invite people home unless there is purpose. Or will I allow them to interact with my family, with my children? Will I trust their children to mix with mine? For that to happen, you will need to test them a little bit more. Are they on your level of understanding? Are they on your level of morals and values? Are they on, on your level of faith? Do they take their faith seriously as you do? If they tick the boxes that you are interested in, then you may allow them into a circle that is slightly closer to you. It would be a smaller circle. But if you were to allow anyone and everyone, just because this man is my business partner, now he can come in and out of my house, his family interacts with mine, and that's it, we go out on holidays together, we do everything together, but you don't know their morals, you don't know their uh, beliefs, for example. If that were to brush off onto your children or you, or anyone around you, you may just regret it big time. So Surah Al-Furqan speaks of connecting with revelation and the consciousness of Allah to the degree that it helps you distinguish between right and wrong, hence it is called the criterion. When it helps you to distinguish between right and wrong, you choose your friends wisely and you make sure that the friends are all in, a, in an order. Who is closest, who is closer, who is, for example, slightly distant and who is just an acquaintance. And some people, I don't even want to interact with them because they are toxic. So Allah Almighty speaks about uh, some of this uh, in the Quran. If we look at Surah Al-Furqan, verse number 27. Allah Almighty makes mention of the day the regret will happen. When the oppressive person, the wrongdoer, will be eating his hands in regret. Eating your hands in regret is more of an Arabic saying where we regret to the highest level that we're actually putting our hands in our mouths and biting them off. You know, that is called eating your hands in regret, subhanAllah. So Allah Almighty speaks of it. The person will eat his hands in regret and say that, oh, I shouldn't have had this person as my friend. Look at what they've done to me. Look at how they have messed my life. Look at what type of regret I am in today. Look at what has happened in myself, my family, my children, my whatever else. Look at the problems they've created for me. Allah says the day of regret will come when you don't choose your friends wisely. So you'd rather have a smaller circle of friends where they are genuine. They stand for the values. They will not let you down. They won't stab you in the back but they are, small, they are small in number, then to have a whole city full of friends and everyone is just taking advantage of you in every single way and doing things with you that would result in regret.